guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to share my low buy picks for the month of January. Now, for the first half of 2016, I put myself on a self imposed low buy of all makeup items and skincare items that cost over $20. So, throughout each month, I'm only going to be able to purchase three items, regardless of if I need it or if it's just something that I want. And then at the beginning of each month, I will make a video on what I purchased. So for the month of January, which was the first month, I think it was pretty successful. My birthday is also in January, so I will show a few things that I got for my birthday. Um, the main thing that I got for my birthday this year was this beautiful ring light that I'm looking at. Um, I got the Diva Ring Supernova Light. It's amazing. I've really enjoyed playing with it. Um, I'll link to it down below in case you're interested. And I'll link to all the products that I talk about today down below as well in case you're interested in anything. All right, so first I will go through the items that I purchased myself this month that are included in my low buy. The first thing I picked up was the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. I bought it in the shade W2, and I am so happy that I picked up this foundation. It's absolutely amazing. I've used the regular L'Oreal True Match Liquid Foundation, but I've never used the Lumi, so I wasn't quite sure what to think, and I didn't really like the regular L'Oreal True Match. But this stuff is absolutely incredible. I don't think I've ever, like in the history of wearing foundation, had a foundation sit so beautifully on my skin for so long. It's not considered a long wearing foundation I don't think but it just lasts forever on my skin and it just looks flawless for hours now while I really like this foundation and I think just the packaging is so adorable there are a few negatives um, first of all the shade W2 is slightly too dark for me it actually matches my face which is darker than my chest my chest would be a W1 but currently this is the lightest shade in the line hopefully if this becomes a really popular item they will expand the color selection and include W1 because then I think that would be an absolutely perfect match the other big downfall about this product is the price. This was like $17 and you only get half an ounce of foundation. So for a drugstore foundation, the price is just astronomical. It's absolutely insane how expensive this is. But like I said, it just goes on so beautifully, so easily. It's so buildable. I just can't get over how beautifully it sits on my skin. I'm not wearing it today. Um, I should have probably for this video, but I'm wearing something different. But I absolutely love this foundation and yeah, I definitely would repurchase even though it's so expensive. The next little buy pick is the CoverGirl Plumpify Blast Pro Mascara, and yes, I know. I'm going through my mascaras this year in my Project Use It Up, so I did not need to buy this, but I was really curious about the wand, and I actually did return two of the other mascaras that I had, so I felt okay buying this, and like I said, I was just really curious about the wand. It was just really different and unique, I thought. I've used this mascara quite a few times already and I have to say I do really like it. I don't think it's like the most plumpifying mascara as it claims to be, but the thing that I really like about it is that it really kind of curls my lashes and for whatever reason that's not something that they claim that this mascara does, um, which they should because it really does kind of lift them up, which is really nice because I have long straight lashes that just kind of point out at you and I think my lashes look really nice and swooped upwards when I wear this. I also just really like the formula. It stays put, it doesn't flake off, and it's really easy to remove, which is something that I really scrutinize a mascara for because I hate when mascara just lingers around and you can't get it off and it's just all over your face the next day even though you spent five minutes scrubbing it off the night before. And I don't have that problem with this mascara. This one, like I said, comes off really easily. So overall, I have been pretty impressed with this mascara. I think in general, CoverGirl does mascara pretty well. Um, so if you're looking for a new mascara from the drugstore, um, I think this might be a good one to try. Also, I wanted to quickly mention that I will be keeping a tally of how much I spend on makeup this year versus how much I use. Now, in my first empties video of the year, um, I'll link to it up there in case you want to go check it out, I believe I used up something like $30 worth of makeup. So my goal, obviously, is to use up more than what I spend on makeup this year. Um, and I think this was about $17, and this was, I think, $8 or $9. I'll put the actual prices down below so I can keep track, but I'm pretty sure that's how much I spent on makeup this month. All right, now onto the last item of my low buy, and that is this little guy from Real Chemistry. This is the Luminous 3-Minute Peel. I actually got a sample of this in Birchbox last year, and I fell in love with this product. It just works so well to exfoliate my skin, and this thing is $48. It is not playing around. It's so expensive, and I wasn't going to buy this, but this just works better than any other exfoliator I've used, and as I 
I've mentioned a billion times here on my channel lately, the skin around my chin area has just been flaky and just disgusting lately that I really felt the need to buy this. The other day I came home from running some errands and I looked in the mirror and I'm not even joking, but I had at least 20 like eraser sized little white flecks of skin just kind of hanging off of my chin here. It was mortifying. I was so embarrassed. It looked so nasty. So as soon as I saw that, I said, yep, I have to go purchase this right now. The cost is justified because I had run out of that sample. So I needed this and it's expensive, but I did count it as one of my three items. You know, like I said, I'm counting every skincare item that's over $20. Um, and I just absolutely love this stuff. It works so well and it's really quick and it gets rid of the dead skin better than any exfoliator I've ever used. So those are all my low buy picks. I feel better about purchasing this super high end item because I bought two things from the drugstore so it kind of balances out. I was really thinking that I was going to buy all like higher end items this month but fortunately it didn't end up that way. Alright and now into my birthday purchases. Again the big thing that I got for my birthday this year was my ring light. I'm so thankful to have it. It's been wonderful. I think the lighting in my videos just looks so much better now um, but I did get a few other things from Sephora that I wanted to share. First thing I got was this Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Mask. I love this stuff. I believe I talked about this in my last empties video because I just finished up a sample of it. Um, and these two actually together are amazing. I use this and then you stick this on your skin for about 20 minutes afterwards and your skin looks beautiful for the next couple of days at least. Especially with this horrible dry winter weather that we're having. Um, it doesn't last that long but every couple days I like to do this and then my skin just looks beautiful. And this is just the travel size but it's a pretty decent amount. I think you get at least half an ounce, right? Yeah, you get half an ounce and I think this will last me for the rest of the winter. Next thing I got was a lipstick from the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay collection. I couldn't pass this one up. I told my husband about this as soon as I saw that they were being released and I said yes. That is what I want for my birthday. I absolutely need it. Um, and there were a couple of shades that I kind of went back and forth on, but I just had to get Spiderweb because Tragic Kingdom, no doubt's like first big huge album that they came out with, I think in 95, 96, something like that. Um, anyways, that CD like defined sixth grade for me, so I had to get Spiderweb. And it's beautiful. I really love this color. I think I wore this in a video actually, and it's a little bit glossier than I thought it was gonna be, but I love the shade and the gloss doesn't bother me too too much and I just think it's a really comfortable lipstick. I actually don't own any Urban Decay lipsticks so I'm not sure if this is the same formula as the Revolution lipsticks that they have or if this is a little bit different but so far I have been really enjoying this and I just think the packaging is gorgeous. And the last item that I got for my birthday is actually from Ulta, not Sephora. Um, it's by Mario Badescu, and this is the Whitening Mask. And why I'm interested in this product is because, like I said before, my face is darker than my chest, and it didn't always used to be that way. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's a little sliver of skin up here, like right at my hairline, that's the same color as my chest. Um, and I used to have like side swoop bangs, so my bangs were always keeping this part of my skin covered. Um, but over the last 10 years, my face has just aged, and it's just gotten sun damage and you can really tell now um, when I look at myself in the mirror without any makeup on like how big of a difference there is. So I heard really good things about this mask so I'm hoping that this brings back the color that I'm supposed to have on my face. I'm just trying to get everything evened out that's why I got this mask and I haven't tried it yet but hopefully it'll work. I did hear really good things about it. So those are all my low buy picks at my birthday haul for January. Um, I did buy a couple of other beauty related items. Like I got these two nail polishes, which I'm not going to count. I don't really have a problem buying nail polish anymore. I definitely used to, but I don't really anymore. Just it happened that I bought two this month, um, but I don't think I'll probably buy any in February. Um, but this color, you guys, is so magnificent. This is from the Hello Kitty OPI collection, and this is the color I'm actually wearing it right now. This is the Starry Eyed for Dear Daniel, and it is just amazing. This is quickly becoming one of my top nail polishes of all time. I absolutely love it. Then I picked this one up from Essie. This one is called uh, For the Twill of It. And it's like this cool duochrome and it reminded me so much of the OPI line that came out like 15 years ago that was duochrome. So just for nostalgia's sake I had to pick it up. I didn't own any of those OPI ones but I used them all the time at the nail salon. Um, so I just thought it was, whoop, as I knocked something over. I just thought it was really pretty and I wanted to pick it up. So I think that's everything then for this video. I'm pretty pleased with how I did for my low buy this month. Again, I mean, this was $50 and way more than I usually spend on a skincare item, but it's worth it because it's amazing. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be purchasing in February yet, but I do have my eye on a few different things. I know a few of the things aren't even going to be released until later on in the spring or early summer, but um, I am keeping an eye on things. Just hopefully I can spread everything out that I want throughout the year so it's not all, you know, going to be in one month. And then of course there's the Sephora VIB sale 
sale that's coming up in April, so maybe I'll give myself a little bit of leniency there and maybe allow myself to get like four or five items. We'll see. Maybe if I don't buy as much this month. I don't know, we'll see. I'm not going to like hold myself to that because who knows what's gonna happen. But thank you guys as usual so much for watching today. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. We can also connect on Instagram. There'll be a link down there somewhere. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!